for somebody to jump on here with me. And then I'll fill you in what we're doing. Ew, Kevin. Thank you. No, not the cupcake. It's actually really good. Okay. While we're doing that. Okay, so right now, I literally just have a box, a 16 ounce box of um, <coughs> whole grain or whole wheat, whatever the book, kind of penne boiling away, doing its thing. Set a timer, or my dumbass is gonna forget. Okay. Whatever. You need to try it first before you start talking shit. Watch doesn't like you either. Girl, you can't run around with a screwdriver. What? What that? Peace out, Girl Scout. Okay. Now we need to get our vegetables going. We're gonna try it in this skillet. My other one's in the oven. Drying off. And I don't really feel like moving the pot of boiling water around. Okay, so we need, this is penne with butternut squash. Super easy. Literally like a handful of ingredients. Most of them you guys should already have on hand. Um, I'll post a picture of it. It's extra virgin. I get the good shit. The, the cheap, the good shit. Um, let's see. Watch you go. Where's my scissors? We 
the only extra virgin thing in this house. Well, other than my kids. Butternut squash. Um, yes you can, sir. You need two cups of peeled butternut squash. Literally. It's ready for you at Walmart. We are balling on a budget over here. So the good stuff is the cheap stuff because I'm not paying $17 for fucking olive oil. I like it, but not that damn much. Okay. Some salt. Or wait, where's my good salt? It ain't cheap if it works. It's called a hack, Kevin. It's a life hack. It's okay that I thought of it first. You'll be fine. Girl! You gotta go somewhere with your little self. Salt and pepper as much as you want. We like pepper. Stir your pasta. My pants have already been hot, but I'm chaotic in the kitchen, so it's okay. It's okay. I got it. It's coming up. Calm down. Just calm down. We need four cloves of minced garlic. The water was boiling before I added the pasta. I was talking about this pan. This one was supposed to be hot before I added the butternut squash. But it's okay. It was, I promise. Pop is almost done anyway. moody today. Like extra, extra moody. And don't say, I wonder where she gets it from.
No. No cupcakes. Girl. Listen up. No. You want to say hi? I knew you were going to say that. You don't need that. You want to get your butternut squash golden and tender with a little bit of caramelization on there. So stir it around a little bit. Let it sit. Then we'll be adding in the garlic juice. Okay. Go on. Yeah, sure, you can have that. Next up is some more oil. Just a little bit. Like, see, it says a tablespoon. I don't use a whole tablespoon because I just don't. 12 ounces of cremini mushrooms, aka baby Bella, Portabella. Woo! Melting shit. You have to have 12 ounces. I have 16. More salt. Salt's going to draw out your moisture. Make it all nice and nice. Girl!
All right, those are gonna go, our mushrooms are gonna go for about five minutes, and then we add in some garlic and some onions. No, I didn't feel like cutting all the onions, so I threw both of them. I know, I just opened the window. I'm cooking on live. Penny with butternut squash. What? Here I go, Sally. boots are up there instead of the mountain day. If I brown the meat and I have grease, I usually drain it into the trash. Yeah, that's what you can do. Yeah, you can do that. 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 Styrofoam cup, hot grease, and melted styrofoam cup. I should know. No? No, you get some. I'll pick up to get some cup. Oh, yeah. Stealing my mushroom. Okay, now we need four cloves of garlic. One teaspoon is equal to one clove, so four heaping teaspoons because we don't level off. In this time. <laughs> we'll do five for Kevin. It's a good thing I bought more garlic at the store because I'm almost done. Hey, you want noodle? You want noodle? I swear. And then it's supposed to that be. I got it. Could do a half a small red onion, but I'll just do white because. That's me. Make it your own. And then, oh, where's my fucking yarn of red pepper? Pen? I wasn't I thought they were up here. Oh, sorry. Ah. Oh, well, technically, they are up here. These are the, from the peppers that um, I grew last year. Yes. We're gonna be like quite potent. Yes. If we're not put through all the spilling. <laughs> Mistakes are going to be made. Use them a lot. That much. That's already too much. <laughs> that much. Just that much. I can do spicy. But even smell them bad. Homemade, home, homegrown, home dehydrated chili flakes. Jalapenos, um, Thai red hots, all of that good stuff. Okay, and then we only cook this for a couple minutes. And I think we add everything back together. Yep, pasta, squash, goes in, 
And then right before you serve, you add the cheese. While that's softening, I'm going to put my stuff up. What do you love, girl? Oh, and for dessert, which will probably get made and thrown into the oven right after I plate everybody's food up, Patty's going to help me make a strawberry cake. We might make a homemade buttercream because I've got all the stuff to do it. We shall see. That. We shall see. You. This over here so I can see what I'm doing. You guys can kind of see what I'm doing. Now we add the pasta, the squash, all that good stuff. Back in. Penne. Go in it. Now this recipe feeds four. Remember I said that. Because it's already in my massive skillet. And this is gonna be fun to try to do. Okay? Okay. Butternut squash. And I think next time I make this, I'll probably try to use the acorn squash that's out of my basement from the 21 that we grew outside. Um, yeah, we'll probably use those. Dun, 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 dun. And then the best part about this is that it gets a whole, it gets a half cup of Parmesan. Maybe I should have left it on that one over there. And it doesn't take long for this stuff to get warmed all the way through because your mushrooms are still hot. Butternut squash is still hot. Pasta is a little, it's fairly warm. All right. Five ounce container. What, baby? What? We'll go with that and save a little bit. What, maybe? Meow.
No, a bebê. I don't have any fresh oregano if I forgot to grab some, so we're gonna top it with some dried oregano. Yeah. And a couple more turns of salt. And that's dinner, you guys. Um recipe is from Food Network. I will post a picture in the comments below so that way you guys can make it yourself at home. But yeah. After I get all this um plated up, probably gonna start dessert. And we'll see you guys tomorrow for dinner. I'm not sure what we're making it though. See you later. Bye.